Welcome to section number three. We're going to be talking about the physical property environment. But before we go to the so-called environment, let's check out the landing page or let's say the opening page or home page of Aspen Heises. Here we go. Once you open Heises, you will get this thing right here. You have this start using Aspen Heises, so you can either open a file or get a new one. You got recent models, you can open. Otherwise, you can continue with a new simulation. But before going for the new simulation, I want to show you these two little tabs right here. So the customized one is very technical and I will not recommend you to modify it unless you are sure what you're going to be doing, which is essentially the script manager, but more importantly, the macro language editor. So you have got some macros that you want to integrate into Aspen Heises, you can do it by yourself. Resources, as the name implies, is a set of resources to help you with Aspen Heises. So we got the what's new, compare versions. So you can compare version 10 versus 9, 8, 7, and so on. Certain examples or preloaded cases from Aspen Heises, training that's coming on, events from Aspen Heises. Actually, all this is from Aspen 01. Pretty similar to a Google Drive or so, Aspen One is all Aspen tools in one place. This is literally a link to a community, so if you click it, you will be sent to another web page. Support Center, live chat, and send to support are for help. And the bottom right here, you can find it always in this side of the window. So that is the landing page. Let us open a new one, a new case. So let's go file a new. And as you can see, there are several things that you can start with. These are templates. Most commonly, the FCC and Hydrocracker are going to be used if you're in petroleum refinery. Otherwise, you will go directly for a new case. Let's open a new case. And in my specific case, I have problem with this little file. Where it's nothing to worry about, it's just about databases searching and so on. And this is my physical property environment. So what is an environment? Probably you're wondering. Well, an environment is a set of windows, menus that you will see. For instance, right now we are in the property environment, but you can change to the simulation environment. I will not change because you will require some data. And in this property environment, we have several things that we can cover. Most of the things are forms within these folders. So for instance, if we're talking about components, we can add component list, we can add new ICs or import ones. When we talk about the fluid package, we can also select a new fluid package. We are talking about also petroleum assays. If you have the refinery or petroleum refinery, you can do it. You can find assays, download assays, and so on. We also got the oil manager. Okay, we need to state a fluid package. Essentially what the oil manager does is let, it allows us to model crude oils. We can add reactions and actually we must add reactions if we're going to be using them in the simulation. And user properties if you want to add certain type of properties that Aspen Plus or Aspen Heises are currently not selecting for display, you can add them for you to check them out. We also got this PPT laboratory measurements. What else do we have here? Petroleum assays is the same as this one. Oil manager is here. Convert to refining assay. Resources and customize, you already know it. And view. So that is the physical property environment. And before we continue with this, uh, I want to give you a little bit more on the physical property environment. Okay, so the minimum requirements to set up a simulation or at least the physical property environment is as here it is stated, we need to have a fluid package which is attached to at least one simulation to the flow sheet. Number two, we got to have a component list which each one of them will have a fluid package. And not only that, we got to have at least one component in the component list. So that's kind of redundant, but yes, you can have a component list with no components. That's why you need to add at least one component. And finally, you must specify the fluid package as the default fluid package. 
So first things first, we're going to be adding the component list, all the components that we will be using. And then we're going to select our fluid package in order to be able to model this. And let's do it. Well, actually, before doing it, I want to show you that if you need more help with the physical property environment, or you're wondering what that, what's that petroleum assay tab, or what's that oil manager tab, or if you're working a petroleum refinery, or you're willing to model crude oils and you have no idea how to do this, I have this course for you, Aspen Heises, Petroleum Assays and Oil Characterization, which is literally talking about this part right here. We talk about component list, how to add new components that are not present in the database, how to add non-conventionals, hypo components, and so on. Fluid packages, we talk about the most common fluid packages, the most convenient ones. And then we go directly to petroleum assays, how to import, export. And then oil manager is about how can we specify our crude oil properties in order to be able to have a, let's say, simulation with this crude oil. And remember that crude oils are actually more than a hundred compounds. So it's kind of hard and try to imagine it's not common that you will actually be adding one component per one component. First, because it will be a pain in the ass. And secondly, because it will be literally uh, impossible. So there are certain components that will not be suitable for simulation. So what Aspen Heises does is it creates a simulation of those components. So once again, if you want to check it out, go for Aspen Heises Petroleum Assays and Oil Characterization, which is actually the next course I will recommend you after a basic course. So definitely keep it on mind. Let's add the component list. 